Everybody, and the people in the back, don't worry about this, but the people in the chairs, you're all going to lean to your right. So everybody lean over to your right. You're going to take your head, you're going to put it on the shoulder of the person beside you. So all the way down, put your head all the way down. Perfect, go all the way down, all the way down. Yeah, even further, there we go, all right. Now everybody sit up nice and straight. Now you're going to lean to your left. So everybody lean all the way to the left, put your head on the shoulder of the person to your left. Perfect, and everybody go ahead and sit up nice and straight. Now what's going to happen, your body is going to get extremely relaxed as we go through this. And a lot of times people kind of get caught up in what, what do I do because I feel so relaxed. But I want you to know the person beside you, you can temporarily use them as a pillow if you need to and their shoulder will be there for you. So what I want everybody to do is look straight ahead, look at the doors back in the back, and then keep your neck straight but lift your eyes up so you can see those spotlights. So people in the back just find, you can actually find a spotlight up in the ceiling. People in the chairs just look at those spotlights back there. So I'm going to talk to the audience just for like 30 seconds and then I'll be right back with you. So what we're going to do next, this is what's called the induction. This is where I try and lead them into that natural state of hypnosis. This is the only part of the show. The quieter you can be, the more into their imaginations we can get. Once we go through the induction, then the more you laugh, the more you cheer, the more fun and further into their imaginations will go and, and the cooler things that we'll get to experience up here. So again, just for like the next five minutes, if you could try and stay as quiet as you can, and then let, like I said, we'll be able to make as much noise as we want after that. All right, so people, as you're looking at that spotlight, what I want you to do is start to take some deep breaths. So I'm gonna turn some music on in the background. And there's two things that we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is relax your body. We're going to try and relax your body more than you've ever been relaxed before. And then the second thing we're going to do is we're going to relax your mind. And we'll try to relax your mind so much that you'll be able to focus on nothing but the sound of my voice. Everything else in the room will just kind of disappear out of your memory. And uh, you'll be able to focus just on the sound of my voice and some of the cool stuff that we're going to do and experience. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take three deep breaths together. So everybody take a nice deep breath in. Go ahead and let it out. Good. And then we're gonna take a second nice deep breath in. And go ahead and let it out. And then we're gonna take the deeper breath yet, as deep as you can. And this time as you exhale, I want you to slowly close your eyes. Now you've already shown that you have a great imagination. And what we're gonna do is keep working on your power of focus. And I want you to focus on a couple different things. So what I want you to do, if you're on the stage, you'll just focus on the floor. If you're in a chair, I want all your focus, all your attention to go to your chair. You probably weren't thinking about your chair a second ago, but you notice when I mention it and ask you to think about it, how quickly your focus can change. And you can go and see how it fully supports you. And all you need to do is sit there and relax. Now take all your focus, take it down to your left foot. See how quickly you can make it jump from the chair or the floor. And all your focus, all at once, can go right to your left foot. Now jump over to your right foot. Again, you probably weren't thinking about it, but as soon as I mention it, you see how strong and powerful your imagination and focus are that you can jump back and forth. Let's go up to your right hand. So your right hand, just press nicely on your lap. Again, nothing you need to do, but sit there and allow yourself to relax. Let's take your focus to one last thing. Take all your focus up to your eyelids. Now you already shown you have a great imagination. You have a great amount of focus and intelligence. And I want you to use that one more time. I want you to imagine that you have the ability to relax your eyelids so much that they just won't open. So imagine that you have the power to relax them so much that when you try to open them, that they're just not going to open. And see how relaxed that you can get them. On the count of three, I want you to try and open your eyes, but you're going to see when you use your focus, your imagination, and your intelligence, that you can actually get them to be so relaxed that they won't open as you try on one, two, and three. Good, and you can quit trying. And what we're going to do is the relaxation that you have in your eyelids, we're going to send it down your entire body. 
So that relaxation you had in your eyelids, imagine it at the top of your head. It's gonna go down your body just like a wave slowly from the top of your head to your cheeks. See that relaxation relaxing every muscle in your body from your cheeks to your chin. And as it slowly goes down to your neck, you're gonna to start to feel your neck get heavy. And when I count to three, you're gonna see your neck gets so relaxed that your head will slowly fall forward on one, two, and three. Allowing your neck to relax as it continues down to your chest, your chest to your stomach, your stomach to your thighs, your thighs to your knees, your knees to your calves, all the way down your body, out the tips of your toes, allowing every muscle in your body to completely relax. I'm gonna come around, I'm gonna to touch you on the shoulder, and I'm just gonna say the word relax. And when I do that, I want you to relax every single muscle 10 times more than they are right now in your entire body. And let yourself just become almost like a wet spaghetti noodle. And let every muscle become completely relaxed. So we go right down the line. Go ahead and relax. 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 And relax and relax. Go ahead and relax. Go ahead and relax. Go ahead and relax. Let yourself relax and relax. Go ahead and relax. Go ahead and relax and relax. If you can go to the floor, just be careful. If you can, you're fine. You, you, why don't you go back up to the... You can go, come up back up to your seat. Hey, go ahead and have a seat. What's your, what's your name? Zoe, nice to meet you. Go ahead and relax. All the way down. Take a nice deep breath. People in the back, just be careful. If you lay down, just don't hit your head. Go ahead and relax. Perfect. Right here, go ahead and relax. Good. Just first, I'm touching. You can open your eyes. I'm going to send you back to the audience. Go ahead and relax. Good. Just be, watch your head. Go ahead and relax. Just watch your head. Go ahead and relax. Watch your head. Go ahead and relax. And just go ahead and relax. Just watch your head. Right back here. Go ahead and relax. Just watch your head. Go ahead and relax. All the way down. Go ahead and relax. So watch your head. Go ahead and relax. So watch your head. So watch your head. Go ahead and relax. So watch your head. Careful. And go ahead and relax. So watch your head. Go ahead and relax. So watch your head. We got two more back here. Go ahead and relax. And relax. So watch your head. All right, now while you're sitting there, what I want you to do is every word that you hear me say, allow your mind and your body to relax even more. You're doing so good. So everybody keep your eyes closed. Sit up nice and straight. And what I want you to do now is, just like your body's relaxed, we're going to try to relax your mind. We're going to try and relax your mind so much that nothing else in the room is going to matter but the sound of my voice. So keep your eyes closed. And what I want you to do is imagine you're at the top of a staircase. That staircase only has five steps. And you're at the top, and the steps are numbered. So you see yourself on step number five. The one below it, you can see the number four. Down to the number three. Down to the number two. And the last step has a number one. And what I want you to do is imagine that every time you go down a step, your mind's going to relax just a little bit more as you see yourself go from step number five. Allow your mind to relax as you get down to step four. From step four down to step three. And each time you take a step, you notice that the numbers on the steps are slowly starting to disappear. They're completely fading out of your memory as you go from three to two. See those numbers slowly fade away. Focus more and more on the sound of my voice as we go from two to one. And when we get on this last step, let your body and your mind completely relax as you go from step one all the way down to the bottom. Now I'm going to give you what's called an anchor. And an anchor is a way for you to get right back into this pleasant state where your body's relaxed, your mind's relaxed. So anytime I point at you and I say the word sleep, that's your permission for me to go right back into this world of relaxation, world of imagination. So what I want everybody to do is sit up nice and straight. 
and you can all open your eyes. You're going to see me standing here on the stage. As soon as I point at you, as soon as I say the word sleep, just let yourself go right back to your world of relaxation, world of imagination as you go ahead and sleep, 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 Go ahead and sleep, go ahead and sleep, go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. All right, just, just go and touch it now. You can open your eyes. I'm going to have you sit up. Yep, just to go up touch it right, right here. Yep, come on up. I'm going to put you in a chair right up here. Go ahead, you take this sick chair right there. These two go right here. I'm going to send you two back out. Thanks for trying, though. And you two are good. All the way down. Go ahead and sleep, 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 and sleep. At a moment, I'm going to have you sit back up. Everybody sit up nice and straight. Go ahead and open your eyes. Again, I'm going to two times deeper than you just were as you go ahead and sleep, 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 go ahead and sleep, 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 just to go and touch in here, go ahead and sit up nice and straight. I'm going to have this person I'm touching here. You can open your eyes, open your eyes. Let's go right here. Go ahead and open your eyes. I'm going to send you back to, you four back to the audience. This person I'm touching now, go ahead. I'm going to bring you out this way. Person I'm touching right here, go ahead and open your eyes. I'm going to bring you this way. Come on, right around here. And I'm just going to put you, you both can have a seat right here. And right back here, go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. Go ahead and sleep, sleep, and sleep. All right, just first I'm touching here. I'm going to have you open your eyes. I'm going to bring you this way. I'm going to have you have a seat right here. And then the people still back here, just people on the floor, go ahead and sit up nice and straight. You open your eyes. I'm going to send you all back to the audience. All right, one last time. What I want you to do is everybody sit up nice and straight. This final time, we're going to get back into your imaginations. As I come around and I tell you to sleep, I want you to imagine I have a little light. And that little light is going to put you even deeper than you've been before. So as we get it right down the line, go ahead and sleep, 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 All right. In a moment, we're going to have everybody in the audience. Is good. You're going to hear lots of noises. And the more noise that the audience makes, the more they laugh, the more they cheer, the more into your imaginations they'll go. And uh, so on the count of three, audience, give them a nice round of applause. Everybody on stage, just keep your eyes closed. You're doing a great job. On one, two, and three, give them a huge round of applause. All right, everybody go ahead and sit up nice and straight. If you fell out of your chair, go ahead and have a seat in your chair. Everybody sit up nice and straight. Keep your eyes closed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring you this way, so come on with me. I'm going to put you in this chair right here. Go ahead and have a seat. And what, what's your name? Maya, nice to meet you. Go ahead and sleep. All right, perfect. All right, now what I want you to do, and we're going to get into your imaginations, uh, and I'm going to have this girl right here first, I'm going to bring you right up here, have a seat on this chair, this girl right here, I'm going to have you open your eyes, I'm going to bring you right up here, and then everybody go ahead and close your eyes, and now what I want you to do, we're going to do one last thing to get into your imaginations, and I want you to imagine that you're on the beach, it's a beautiful day, we're in Hawaii, and you're in a lounge chair. On the count of three, I want you to get in a nice, comfortable position in your lounge chair. On one, two, and three. Perfect. On the count of three, get in an even more comfortable position. Here we go. One, two, and three. Even more comfortable. 
It's a beautiful day in Hawaii. It's 70 degrees out. You've been working hard at school all this year. This is your opportunity to do nothing but sit back and relax. So one of the things that they say in Hawaii, in Hawaii they say the hula dance tells a story with your hands. So what I want everybody to do is go ahead and lift up your hands. And I want you to show everybody the waves going across the ocean. Show them the waves going across the ocean. Great job. Now use your hands and show everybody the setting sun. Show them the setting sun. Beautiful. Now use your hands and show them the beautiful girls in the bikinis. And it's a beautiful day. It's starting to get a little bit warmer now. So it was 70, now it's 75 degrees. It's just gone from 75 to 80. You find if you put your hand up and start to fan yourself, it actually makes you feel better. It goes from 80 to 85. 85 to 90, get both hands up there. The more you fan, the better you feel. It goes from 90 to 95, 95, all the way up to 100 degrees, feeling super hot. But I want everybody to take a huge deep breath. Somebody just turned on some air conditioners. How relaxing that feels, how good that feels as we go all the way down, deeper and deeper. Everybody feeling good, it's not hot anymore. Take a nice deep breath. Everybody go ahead and open your eyes. See me up here on stage. Everybody open your eyes. Deeper than before as we get out of the line. Go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 and sleep. All right, since you all came and volunteered, we're going to have a chance to win several different prizes today. And uh, one of the cool things is, you're actually in a battle of the bands. So this battle of the bands is for $100,000. You've all been working on your instrument all year. So this is an opportunity to do some really cool things. We got some people in the band. This guy right here, just hold your hands up. You're one of our drummers. I'm going to give you some drumsticks. This guy right here, you're a drummer. I'm going to give you some drumsticks. This girl right here, hold your hands up. I'm going to give you a couple drumsticks. Perfect. And this girl right here, go ahead and hold your hands up. I'm going to give you a couple drumsticks. All right, so what I need everybody to do is sit up nice and straight. You're going to go into your chair so we can give everybody a chance here. We're going to move this right over here. So this girl, the girl on the floor right here, I'm going to have you open your eyes. I'm going to bring you right down here. We've got a chair for you. All right, so again, this is for $100,000. This is the last time I'm going to have you keep your eyes closed. After this, you'll be able to open your eyes and see everything going on. But go ahead, everybody, pick up your instrument. If you're one of the drummers, so some of you might have violins, some of you might have flutes, clarinets, guitars, piano, keyboard, whatever you have, get your instrument ready. If you're a drummer, I just want you to stand up. Just the drummer, stand up. And again, this is for $100,000. So how about a big round of applause for our band? Go ahead, show them what you got. Play your flute, play your clarinet, play your violin, drummers. Again, this is for $100,000. You want this to go well? All right, judges are watching. This is for the $100,000. Show them what you got. All right, drummers, this is your big finish. Show them what you got, drummers. Hey, about a big round of applause for our band. Band drummers, you can have a seat. You can have a seat. We'll wait for the judge's decision. I got good news. The judges loved your band. You're going to get the $100,000 and another prize that I'll tell you about in a second. But you just won. Take a nice deep breath in. Let that relax you. Open your eyes. Look at me on stage. Even deeper before as you go ahead and go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. All right, so in a moment, I want you all to uh, 
Sit up nice and straight again. If you came out of your chair, go ahead and sit back in your chair. Keep, keep your eyes closed for a second. Since you all just won the battle of the bands, I want you to let you all know that you're now just got your brand new car. And this is an unbelievable car. It's your dream car that you've always dreamed of having. And uh, so go ahead and put your key in. Let's start this car up. Good. And now what we want to do is see... Go ahead, put your seatbelts on. We're going to take this out for a ride. Your friends won't believe that this car is yours. Go ahead and hit the radio. See what's on. Perfect. Go ahead and pull out. Let's take it around. Show it off to your family and your friends. All right. If you look out the left-hand side, you see one of your friends. Give them a wave. Perfect. If you look out the right-hand side, you see another friend. Give them a wave. Perfect. You're going down the street on the count of three. You're going to see a speed bump. Here we go. One, two, and three. Perfect. Now we want to see exactly how fast this car can go. So go ahead. You're going 45. Take it up to 50. From 50 to 55. 55 up to 60. 60 to 65. Let's see if we can get it all the way to 100 miles an hour as we go from 70 to 75, 75 to 80, 80 to 85, you're almost to 100, 85 to 90, 90 to 95, 95 all the way up to... All right, everybody pull over. Everybody pull over. Now this police officer has just caught you driving 100 miles per hour, 100 miles per hour. Now I got good news for you though. This police officer has said that if you can tell him an excuse that he's never heard before. So if you can tell him an excuse that he's never heard before, he's not gonna give you a ticket. So make sure you're creative, give him an excuse that he's never heard before. So go right down the line. Just first I'm touching, what were you 100 miles an hour for? I passed out. You passed out? How about right here? What were you driving so fast for? Going to the beach. Going to the beach? How about here? What were you going so fast for? I stole Mr. Baker's truck. How about right here? What were you going so fast for? I had to go home and walk my fish. You had to go walk your fish? How about right here? I stole a cat. You stole a cat? Okay, what were you going so fast for? I had to see my wife. You had to see your wife? Okay, how about right here? What were you going so fast for? I had to see Mr. Denhart's hair. Okay. And how about right here? What were you going so fast for? My foot got stuck. <laughs> and how about right here? A giraffe was chasing me. A giraffe was chasing me? Okay. How about right here? What were you going so fast for? I was fighting an alligator. Okay. And how about right here? I had to take my school to school. Okay. And how about right here? What were you speaking for? A bear was chasing me. Okay. And how about right here? I left my penguin in the oven. You left a penguin in the oven? Okay, how about right here? What were you going so fast for? Uh, I'm an FBI agent and I need to get a headquarters. Okay, and how about right here? I crapped my pants. <laughs> crapped your pants, okay. And how about right here? What were you going so fast for? My grandma got stuck in the microwave. Yeah, my grandma got stuck in the microwave. All right, I got good news. The officer loved all your excuses. So he's going to let you go. You don't have to get a ticket. You don't have to worry about losing your car and your license and that 100 miles per hour. So you can take a nice deep breath in. And everybody can sit up nice and straight. And what I want you to do is you can all open your eyes. And we're going to use our imaginations. I want you to imagine that I'm holding a boomerang. And this isn't a regular boomerang. It's a hypnotic boomerang. And I'm going to throw it. And you're going to watch it, and you're going to see it's going to fly around the room. It's going to go down that wall. It'll go across the back wall. It'll come up this front wall, and it's going to come back up on stage and hit you in the head. And as soon as it hits you in the head, it's going to knock you right back into hypnosis. Check it out. Watch it. See it go down that wall. See it go across the back wall. See it come up this front wall. As soon as it comes, it's going to hit you in the head. Let it knock you right back into the world of relaxation and hypnosis. All right, you're all doing an excellent job. I'm gonna come around. Uh, one of the ones that I think is, I can tell is way into their imagination. Just the person I'm touching here. Don't open your eyes, keep them closed for a second. But in a moment, I'm gonna wake you back up. And when I wake you back up, you're gonna find something really strange has happened. You're gonna find out that you can no longer remember the number six. 
So when you count, you're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. If you count backwards, it'll be 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And until I snap my fingers, you won't be able to remember the number 6. If you understand that, nod your head yes. Perfect. Everybody else on stage, in a moment you're going to see me interviewing somebody up on stage, and you're going to notice something really strange that they can, can't remember the number 6. And every time she forgets the number 6, you're going to think it's one of the funniest things that you've ever seen and heard in your entire life. If you all understand that, nod your head yes. Perfect. Everybody go ahead and sit up nice and straight. All right, now throughout the show, we're going to be doing some interviews with some people. I love to get to know people who volunteers for shows. So just press some touch now. You can open your eyes. Do you mind coming up with me for a second? And let me, uh, what, what, what's your name? Charlize. Charlize. And uh, Charlize, what grade are you in? I'm a senior. You're a senior? Okay, good. So Charlize, how, how many fingers do you have? Ten. Ten, and how many toes do you have? Ten. Ten. Okay, so we're going to, I think we're getting a little close to that microphone. Let's come, come over here a little bit. So I want you to put your two hands out. And what we're going to do is we're going to count your fingers one at a time. So we'll start with the number one, and we'll finish with the number ten. Okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, 11. <laughs> no, wait a second. How, how, how many fingers did you say you had? 10. 10. You, you know for sure you have 10, right? And how many toes do you have? 10. 10. Okay, let, let, let's try your fingers again. Hold, hold them back up. Maybe I went too fast. So we'll go one at a time, nice and loud. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I have 10 fingers. You have 10 fingers. You know that for sure. Yeah. All right, let's go backwards then. We'll start with the number 10 and we'll get down to the number one. We'll go backwards. Go ahead with 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And you know for sure that you have 10? Yes. All right, let's, I'm, I'm going to go back over to your chair. So what we're gonna do, uh, to start... Wait, what are you doing down here? Counting my toes. Counting your toes. Because you have how many toes? Ten. Ten. Go ahead. Can, can you count them out loud? One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. A little bit weird. All right, look, look at my fingers in front of you. When I snap, the number six is going to come back. One, two, three. Just count one to ten for us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Give her a big round of applause. <laughs> you did a great job. Everybody go ahead and look up here at me. Let yourself relax as you go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. In a moment, I'm going to wake you back up. And anytime you hear me say the word bad, if you hear me say the word bad, you're going to smell the worst smell that you've ever smelt in your life, and you're going to be 100% convinced that that smell is coming from the person sitting next to you. Now, you're not going to, it's so bad, it smells so bad, that you're not going to be embarrassed to tell us exactly who smells and exactly what they smell like. Only when you hear me say the word bad. If you understand that, nod your head yes. Perfect, everybody sit up nice and straight. And you can all open your eyes. And we're, we're just going to talk to the audience again real quick. So everybody open their eyes up. You can open your eyes. And uh, so since people started texting and getting into video games, you know, most of the shows go good. It's been a while since I've had a bad show. I haven't had a bad show in quite a while. And I can see this guy right here. You see him a little uncomfortable. What do you smell? <laughs> yeah. And, and who smells like that? Then how about right here? What do you smell? Rotten eggs. Rotten eggs. And where's that smell coming from? That way. That way? Okay. How about right here? What do you smell it? Garbage. Garbage coming from where? This way. Okay. How about right here? What do you smell? It smells like dirt. Dirt? And who's it coming from? And how about right here? What do you smell? Trash. Trash coming from where? Over there. Over there. And what do you smell it? Dirty dishes. Dirty dishes from where? Right here. And what do you smell it? Dog food. Dog food? Who smells like dog food? Right, right here, what are you smelling? B.O. <laughs> Coming from who? 
Right there? Okay. How about right here? What do you smell it? Onions. Onions from who? Right there? And how about what do you smell it? Oh, I smell barf. You smell barf coming from who? Right next to you? And what do you smell it? I think it's cheese. Cheese coming from who? Right there? And how about here? Who do you smell it? Garbage. From who? Over here. Okay. And how about you? What do you smell it? Garbage from right here. Yeah. And what do you smell it? Garlic. Garlic from him? Okay. Now, what would everybody do? Take a nice deep breath. The smell's gone. The smell's gone. We're going to go right down the line. Let yourself relax and sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. How about in a moment we're going to wake two of you up? We're going to use this girl right here just for some touch and keep your eyes closed for now. But when I wake you up, you're going to find something really strange has happened to you. You're going to find out that no matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to remember your last name. So you remember your first name, you remember your middle name, but no matter how hard you try, you're not going to be able to remember your last name. If you understand that, nod your head yes. And this guy I'm touching now, keep your eyes closed. In a moment, I'm going to wake you up, and you're going to be 100% convinced that your name is Cha-Cha. So if I ask you what your first name is, you're going to tell me Cha-Cha, your middle name's Cha-Cha, your last name's Cha-Cha. And the more I ask you about your name and what your name is, the more annoyed you're going to get with me. If you understand that, nod your head yes. Okay. And everybody sit up nice and straight. And everybody gets to watch this. So everybody can open their eyes. Everybody open their eyes. We're just going to do some more interviews on stage before we hypnotize all of you. And I'm going to use a couple. Do you mind if I interview you? Come, come on up here. And uh, this guy right here, do you mind if I interview you? All right, come on up here. I'm going to put you over on this side. Uh, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter which. Uh, so, so we'll start out with you. What, what, what's your first name? My name is Angel. Okay, and what's your middle name? Elizabeth. And your last name? I don't know. Wait a second. Your first name was? Angel. Your middle name is? Elizabeth. And your last name is? I don't know. All right, you, you keep thinking. What, what's your first name? Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. Okay. And how, how about your middle name? Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. And your last name is? Cha-Cha. No, and your first name was? Cha-Cha. And, and your first name was? Angel. Angel. And your middle name is? Elizabeth. And your last name is? I don't remember. I'll keep thinking. What, and what was your first name? Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. And your middle name is? Cha-Cha. And your last name is? Cha-Cha. Is that like a family name or where'd that come from? It's just Cha-Cha. Like that? Like Grandpa? Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. How, how do you spell Cha-Cha? Cha-Cha. Is it, is it like C-H-A, C-H-A? C-H-A, C-H-A. Little hyphen in the middle or no hyphen? Oh. Yeah. And that, that's a family name you have? Yeah. And it's your, your first name was? Cha-Cha. Your middle name? Cha-Cha. And your last name? Cha-Cha. And your first name was? Angel. And your middle name is? Elizabeth. And your last name is? Cha-Cha. What, what is her last name? Cha-Cha. Just this person in the front, because it... Too many voices. What is it? Kotze. Did I say that right? Kotze. 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 Okay. So, so that, that's what they're saying it is. I, I don't know if that's right or not. Let, let's, let's give this a shot. What's your first name? Angel. Your middle name? Elizabeth. And your last name? Kutzik. That is right? I guess. I don't remember. It doesn't sound familiar, just going with what they say? Yeah. All right, watch. When I snap, your name's coming back. One, two, three. What's your first name? Angel. Your middle name? Elizabeth. And your last name? Kutzik. Good. Okay, give her a big round of applause. You can have a seat. And your name was? Cha-Cha. Cha-Cha. We're going to leave it Cha-Cha. So Cha-Cha, go ahead and have a seat. And we'll be back with you in a second. Go ahead all the way down. Sleep, 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 all right, we're going to give this one quick shot. In a moment when I wake you up, anytime you hear me say the word exercise, when you hear me say the word exercise, you're going to stand up out of your seat and you're going to start to do jumping jacks. And throughout the rest of the show, anytime you hear me say the word exercise, again, you just jump right out of your seat and you're going to do some jumping jacks. If you all understand that, nod your head yes. All right, everybody sit up nice and straight. Go ahead and open your eyes. And we want to show everybody your exercise. Go ahead and show them your exercise. Very good. Give them a big round of applause. Looking good. All right. You can all stop and you can all have a seat. You can all have a seat. 
And we're going to go right down the line as you go ahead and sleep, 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 and open my, sorry, I stepped on those, and sleep. All right, so what we're going to do next is when you wake up, you're going to find out something really strange has happened. You're going to find that for some reason, you're up here on the middle of the stage, and you have absolutely no clothes on. And all the people who are out there, they're looking at you, and, you know, however you're going to react is how you're going to react. But you're going to notice that you have no clothes on. And I'm going to come out, and I'm going to try and figure out what happened to your clothes and why you don't have any on. So if you all understand that, nod your head yes. All right, everybody, go ahead and sit up nice and straight. Everybody, go ahead and open your eyes. You're going to find something really strange just happens. Everybody forgot their clothes today. They don't know where it was. But just, uh, we're going to come around here. We're going to bring some people... Just the guy I'm touching right right here, what happened? Oh, I don't have the microphone on. What's going on? I left my clothes at home. You don't know what happened? Go ahead. What's going on with you? I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened? I guess you guys don't mind your backside, huh? What's going on back here? My mom threw them away. Your mom threw your clothes away? How about right here? What's going on? They burned a fire. They burned in a fire? We lost some people hiding back here. I see. Back it up! Back up! Get out! How about back here? What's going on? Uh, somebody took them. Somebody took them? You have no idea what's going on. You're hiding behind the curtain, too. And then right, right here, what's going on with you? What happened? Just, just, I what? forgot them. You forgot them tonight? Okay. How about right here? It's okay. You're hiding back here. Don't what's, look at me. Yeah, what's going on? They fizzled. Oh, what's going on? Shop took them. All right, so uh, it looks like we can try and get your clothes back. But first, we got to exercise. We all got to exercise. We all got to exercise. And everybody take a nice deep breath. If you look, you can see your clothes are back. Everybody can come on back out to the stage, find your chair. Everybody's clothes are back. Everybody's clothes are back. You know, line these chairs back up. You're all doing a great job. Put this back. Everybody go ahead and have a seat. Everybody make it back. There you go. Right down the line. Go ahead and sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 and sleep. At the moment, we're going to do what's called the world's worst dance contest. Now, this is for people, if you're not a good dancer, this is a perfect opportunity for you. Because this is your opportunity to show off your world's worst dance moves. So the worst dancer you are, the better chance you have to win this contest. And the prize for this contest is something really, really cool. So you definitely want this. Now, we don't have enough room for every single person to be in this contest. So if you would like to be a contestant in this contest, raise your hand so I can give you a ticket. So who, who would like to be in the world's worst dance contest? So I'm gonna give you a ticket. You're gonna be contestant number one. You're gonna be contestant number two. You're gonna be contestant number three. We're going to just grab a couple more. This guy right here, I'm going to give you a ticket. You're going to be contestant number four. This guy right here, I'm going to give you a ticket. You're going to be contestant number five. And the girl right here on the end, I'm going to give you a ticket. You're going to be contestant number six. And again, if you're a bad dancer, this is a perfect opportunity for you because the winner is going to be who the audience chooses is the absolute worst dancer. So if you all understand that, nod your head yes. For me, everybody sit up nice and straight. If you got a ticket for the dance contest, go ahead and stand up. Just be careful the edge of the stage. Don't get close to the edge of the stage, but spread yourselves out a little bit. You can all open your eyes. And again, we're looking for our absolute worst dancer. So here we go. Show me your worst dance moves.
So I'm gonna get out the line, you cheer for who you thought was our worst dancer. How many thought this was our worst? I thought you were a good dancer, that's not bad. How about right here? How about right here? What do we got right here? How about right here? And down here on the end? All right, so I think we got a clear winner. So this guy right here, you're gonna come out front with me, you're our winner. Everybody else, you can go and have a seat. All right, for our winner, I told you we'd give a pretty cool prize away. So what I want you to do is stick your finger up like this. Now everybody on stage watch this, because all the power I have in me, to point at you and say that magic word to kind of put you back into your imaginations, I'm gonna give to this guy. So all the power of hypnosis I'm putting into this figure right here. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna find that if you get down the line and you touch people on the forehead with this finger, it's gonna knock them right into the hypnosis even twice as powerful as I've been able to do. All right, so you can start on either side. And then wherever you want to start, just touch them right on the forehead. And as soon as it does, let that knock you out. <laughs> Deep into the world of hypnosis as it lets you go to sleep. All right, now what I want you to do is, just this person I'm touching now, sit up nice and straight for a second. I'm gonna have you go back to your seat. And what I want you to do is I want you to hold your finger up like this, and then take your other hand and put it up against your wrist. And you're gonna try and stop that finger from touching you on the forehead. But as you stare at your finger, you're gonna notice the harder you try and stop it, the closer and closer that finger is gonna to get to your forehead. So keep staring. The more you try and stop, the closer and closer it's going to get. You know the power and the strength that's in that finger. And again, the more you try and stop, the faster it goes, closer and closer to your forehead. So you're eventually going to see that pull closer and closer until eventually you're going to see it touch you on the forehead and knock you right out with the rest of them. Perfect. All right, so in a moment, we're going to use... This guy right here, just the guy I'm touching, keep your eyes closed for a second. Just the guy I'm touching right here. In a moment, I'm gonna wake you back up and you're gonna see me standing on the middle of the stage and you're gonna see me standing with the most beautiful girl you've ever seen in your entire life. Now, this girl, she's been talking to me. She thinks you're a good looking guy and she's hoping that you ask her to dance. All right, so um, if you have a good pickup line, you can use it. If you don't, you don't even need a good pickup line because we already know that she likes you, but you, you'll come up, you, use your pickup line. If you don't have one, just ask her to dance. And like, like I said, she's already knows she's interested in you and she wants to dance with you. If you understand that, nod your head, yes. All right, everybody else sit up nice and straight. Keep your eyes closed just for a second. All right, you can all open your eyes. over to the tango. Yeah. 
How about a huge round of applause for our dancer? Did, did you get a name? Clara. Claire, you want to keep Claire with you for a second? Sure. Sure, go ahead. Take Claire with you. We're going to go right down the line. So go to sleep, 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 sleep. Sleep, 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 and sleep. At the moment, we're going to use two people here. They're all in good shape at this point. Is there somebody specific we haven't used you'd all like to see? This guy right here? Yeah. All right, just, just the guy I'm touching right here, this guy right here. Keep your eyes closed. In a moment when you wake up, you're going to find out that you're in the National Spelling Bee. And it's for high schoolers. It's for a $250,000 scholarship to the school of your choice. But you're a little bit nervous. So anytime you get a word that has a letter S in it, if you get a word with the letter S, you kind of have like a little nervous tick. And when you say the letter S, for some reason, you notice you end up smacking yourself across the face. Do you understand that? Nod your head, yes. Good. How, how about one of the girls? Anybody we haven't used you'd like to see? All right, just a girl I'm touching right here in a moment. I'm going to wake you back up. And you're also going to be in the National Spelling Bee. You're the other finalist for $250,000 scholarship. And, uh, but you're a little bit nervous, too. And what you notice is any time you get to the letter S or a word with the letter S, your tongue swells up to like 10 times its normal size. And you have the hardest time in the world being able to say the letter S. Do you understand that? Nod your head, yes. Perfect. Everybody else sit up nice and straight. You can all open your eyes, and we're going to pull a couple people here, and uh, I think we're going to use you, and who, who was our other, was this our other one? No, no, down here. Uh, you're, you're the other spelling bee finalist? All right, perfect. So, yeah, it doesn't matter. One person on each side. Uh, so, here we are in the National Spelling Bee. We're in the finals. Uh, so, let, let, let's... Start out with you. First one to miss the word will lose out. The winner is going to get the two hundred and fifty thousand dollars scholarship. All right, so let's start out right here. Your word is cat. Cat. C A T. Good. Give her a big round of applause. That was great. Let's do yours. How about the word dog? D O G. Give him a big round of applause. That was awesome. All right, let's do. Uh, how about the word gas? Gas. G A S. Wait, say, say that again. G A S. G S. Okay, I, I think we can give her credit for that. How about a big round of applause? Uh, how about right over here? How about the word chase? C H A S E. That's it. Give him a big round of applause. All right, let's come back over here. How about the word? Let, let's do the word grass. Grass. G R A S. Uh, I think that's it. Give her a big round of applause. And let's see for you. How about the uh, how about Mississippi? M I S S I S S I P P I. Give him a huge round of applause. I think we're gonna split the money. You did a great job. Go ahead. You uh, you you both came from this way. Give them a huge round of applause. Great job as we go all the way down. Go ahead and sleep, 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 and sleep. I don't know, I'm gonna wake you back up, and you're all gonna find out that you're world famous rappers. You're world famous rappers, but you don't rap normal songs like most rappers. You actually rap people's favorite children's songs. So it might be Row, Row, Row Your Boat, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Think about what your favorite song was when you were a little boy or a little girl, and you've learned how to start to do those in rap form, and people all over the world love to hear their favorite children's song as a rap. So everybody go ahead and sit up nice and straight. You can all open your eyes, and uh, I'm going to put a little music on the background when you're ready to share your favorite children's song in rap form. Just raise your hand. Right here, I'm gonna give you the microphone when you're ready. Take it away. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, brrrah. How I wonder what you are. Up above, the world's so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Give her, give her a big round of applause. You all set? Let's hear what you got. Take it away. Uh, uh, ba, ba, black sheep. 
have you any more? Uh, yes sir, yes sir. The, the, the three back four. Give her a big round of applause, that was awesome. Somebody else want to share? You want cha cha down here? Where'd cha cha go? See what you got? Yeah, yeah. Row, row, you boat jump down the stream. I can't remember this. That's good. Give him a round of applause. That was awesome. Somebody down this end want to share? How about this guy right here? We haven't done much. Oh. Feel and hear your favorite children. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily. Life is about a dream. Good job. Give him a round of applause. How about right down here? Let's hear what you got. Ray, Ray, bring it around the road. Give her a round of applause, great job. This guy right here, let's hear your favorite children's song. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Give her a big round of applause, great job. How about that right here, you want to give us our favorite children's song? Give her a round of applause. Great job. All right, you're going to bring us home. Let's hear what you got. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. The spout, the spout, and went up the spout. Give her a round of applause. Great job. Yeah. All right, they want to hear what you got. Yeah, yeah. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how you are. Give him a round of applause, great job. We all did great, go ahead and sleep, 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 All right, just the person I'm touching now, keep your eyes closed, the person I'm touching now. In a moment, I'm gonna have you open your eyes and you're gonna be 100% convinced that hypnosis is all fake and everything that happened up here wasn't real and that nobody's actually hypnotized, this was a waste of time, and you wish you would have never come to the show. If you understand that, nod your head yes. <laughs> this person I'm touching now, if you understand, nod your head yes. Perfect, then go ahead, you, you, everybody else keep your eyes closed, I'm just gonna have you open your eyes. And we'll, what, what, what's your name? Amaya. Amaya, so what, what do you think about this show? It's fake, I lied. You lied? Yeah. None, none of this is real? No. Did you see, look, look at the, down this way, What's, what are they all doing? They're lying. They're lying? What, what about down this way? What are they all doing? They are too. They're all lying. So none of this is real? No. You're sure? Yeah. And, and what was your name again? Amaya. Amaya. And, and you're positive? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm glad you at least are being honest with me and came up here. So thanks for trying. Go ahead and sleep. All the way down. All right. Wake up. Sit up nice and straight. What, what just happened? I don't know. You don't know? No. The, the hypnosis is still fake though? Yeah. It's not real? For sure. What just happened though? I don't know. And all those people, they're still faking? They're, they're faking too? Yeah. All right, thanks for trying. Go ahead and sleep. <laughs> all right, what we're going to do, we're going to bring you all out of hypnosis now, let you get back to the rest of your festivities, rest of your party. And uh, what we're going to do, uh, what I want you to do is imagine any goal that you have in life. You're kind of in a part of your brain that you're not used to having access to and being able to talk to. So if there's a sport you want to be better at, if there's a class you want to be able to learn a little bit better or maybe study a little bit harder. If there's a bad habit you want to break, maybe it's stress, anxiety. What I want you to do is imagine whatever goal that you would love to have in life. Imagine yourself accomplishing that goal now. Because like I said, you're in a part of your brain that you're just not used to being able to talk to. And uh, just, just see yourself accomplishing those goals. And in a moment, you know, I'm going to talk to the audience just for about 20 seconds. Just keep picturing that goal being met. Uh, so everybody up here, I saw a lot of people taping the show. That's great. I, I, I want you all to be able to enjoy it and share it with the people up here so they can watch it as well. But I was also taping as well. If you get on my YouTube channel, you can see not only this, but hundreds of other schools and campgrounds, corporations. There's a QR code you can scan to get on that as well. I'm guessing... Pro probably not this, not this weekend, but the next weekend, you'll start to see some clips and different things from this show. All right, so everybody up on stage, what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
kind of get you back to normal, except for just a couple things. First of all, the things that you were just imagining yourself accomplishing, I want that to stick with you. And that, you know, whether you're doing better to test, better to sport, that you're going to carry that with you and you're going to see yourself and continue to do better in whatever that area was. Second thing was Chacha, wherever Chacha is, I forgot where I put him. But Chacha, your name is going to continue to be Chacha until you walk out of this room. So as long as you're in this room, if anybody in the room asks you what your name is, you're going to continue to be Chacha. But as soon as you walk out of the room, all of a sudden your name will come back. And the last thing is, uh, anytime you hear the word Mike Lee, that's my name. Anytime you hear me say Mike Lee, you hear any of your friends say Mike Lee, right away you're just going to scream back, he's the man. So when you hear Mike Lee, you're just going to say, he's the man, and that'll stay with you while you're in this room. But again, when you walk out of this room, everything, all the hypnosis is completely gone, and you're going to be back to normal, feeling good and feeling relaxed and proud that you did such a great job on stage tonight. All right, so what I want you to do is everybody sit up nice and straight. And at the beginning of the show, we started at the bottom of the steps. We slowly, or started at the top of the steps. We slowly walked down. Now we're going to do the opposite. You're at the bottom of the step, and I want you to slowly see yourself climb from step up to step number one, and you'll see the numbers slowly come back onto the steps. Your focus will come off the sound of my voice. Again, all the hypnosis will be gone, except for cha-cha until you leave this room, and any time again you hear Mike Lee, you're just going to yell, he's the man. All right, so see yourself going from step number one to step number two, step number two up to step number three. See the numbers come back and your focus come back as you go from three to four. And then sit up nice and straight. Take a nice deep breath in as you open your eyes on step number five. Now again, a lot of my job is just to try and get these people into their imaginations and kind of get them into a part of their brain that, again, they get into all day long, but kind of like forcing that. But I'm always relying on people's personalities and all of you that came up here, you all did a great job sharing your imaginations, letting us have fun, letting us laugh together. So I want you all to stand up and take a nice big bow. You all did a great job. Give them a huge round of applause for being brave, for volunteering. And again, my name was Mike Lee. And everybody else, thank you for inviting me to your event. Enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm gonna send you all right back down that way and yep hey thank you all very much for coming thanks for watching and i'll turn it back over to your advisors to show you where to go next